Hello YouTube, this is Griggs of Vinheim with the third episode of my Dark Souls Let's Play. Uh, get right into it. You can see me going up into the undead parish. I just kill that hollow. I normally, I used to always go through the rat place, but that, it's just really annoying getting stunlocked and pushed down and getting killed repeatedly, so after I figured out how to go through the sunlight altar and everything, that was just great. And also recently figured out how to do this, but I unfortunately forgot to open up the gate, which causes a lot of problems, as you'll see later. But for now, it's just like killing three of these hollows, which is really not much of a problem, as far as I can remember. Yeah, I just kill them all. <laughs> You can see me failing some really easy parries, and then I just go in for the backstab. Then I run up here, I check to see if the ballers are aggro, but they aren't, so I just go over. Uh, normally I try to be super quiet here, but apparently I didn't hear. Uh, so he, that balder's already angry, but I managed to get a parry out of him without even knowing what's happening. And then one of the ballers inside the church actually did get aggro. So, yeah. And then I tried to pop an Astus, but it was apparently my gold pine resin was kind of there, so I just take advantage of it. Probably should have died right there, but I managed to get the parry, so whatever. <laughs> um... What a huge spike. And then, right here you can see I'm killing. And then I kill. And then I am killed. I was about to go for the killing blow against that guy, and then one of the crossbow guys comes, so I fade out and come back in. I actually never managed to get back there to get my stuff back, so I just kind of pop up right here. Because the gate's closed, so I can't just rush past all this. So... I'm trying to get the backstab on here, but I can't because there's walls and everything, which is kind of annoying. But then all everybody's friends come up, and so there's just a giant hollow party up here. And here's me trying to take on three uh, swordsmen along with two crossbowmen, which ends up just being a giant clusterfuck. Pop an S just up there. me trying to get a backstab or like trying to get any hit at all. They never take down their fucking shields. Getting two arrows in the spine. Try to go for the backstab but miss and then I do get it. Ooh. I'll say the Uji Katana is actually a pretty decent weapon for this low level shit at least. Managed to one hit them all with backstabs, which is more than I can really ask for. I don't know why I didn't just go down for the punch attack, but I do it a little bit too late and I mess up and fail. So my next step is to go down into this little place with all the uh, dreglings or whatever. Somebody, somebody called them dreglings or something. Uh, weaker hollows without any armor. And then I just get totally gangbanged and I die. Because I'm not very good at this game, nor am I very patient with it. And then I decided to just go over and try to kill the Razorborn instead, or the Steel Pig of Death, whatever it's actually called. I don't get killed there, that was really stupid. But they don't want to come over, so I finally get one to come over and I kill him. I'm gonna show up my Dragon Crest shield out pretty quick. It seems like I have lighter hair in here in undead form. It's weird. I get a few of those black fire bombs. This is what I was talking about on the I think it was the first episode. Is that the black fire bombs right there? And then something really stupid happens. I manages to rip his face through the stone stairs and then just test kill me, so. And then I just speed up the actual kill of me killing him. It was the second try of me killing him. So. 
I just spam Solaire for a while and then he keeps backing off to his home position. But then I eventually, after a while, I just start using those and I Soul Spear but he's dead. Alright. Going back to normal speed. <laughs> I get shot because I'm I never have my shield up because I'm a cocky motherfucker. So I have a kick. I remember when I first learned how to like parry and backstab and all that. I always thought the animations for all that shit was so brutal. And now I'm just like kinda used to it. He's like actually showing the their dead body getting stuck on your sword. Uh, we have to peel them off. Yep, and when I fall, this leads to some mild hilarity. Get stomped on in the head. And then we get out and just make a quick look at these guys. So I set some tables going for the Lawtrix key or mystery key or whatever it's called. It's called the mystery key. Yes, it is. I go up the ladder. And... I kill them. I think I tried to get a backstab on him, but I messed up, so I just kill him. Anyway. This was the... This was the sparring round. That little place underneath there where I killed my first baller successfully. He hears me getting the large soul lost and dead or whatever's up there. I think it's the large soul, is it? Yep. It was a really weird balancing beam. I don't know why they decided to have that right there. But whatever. It's not that hard. You just gotta have some ability to fix yourself pretty nicely. And I never realized that these two parts were connected. Like, I thought that was somewhere else because I'm not really good with them. Oh my god, these are some terrible parries right here. I just get totally stabbed and dead and killed. I die, fade out, fade back in, getting my shit back, and land the back stab. Go through, I think I grabbed the shield right away. Nope, I just get him out of the way. And while I was in his parry position, I grab the shield I'm never gonna use and get stabbed in the chest. And fail our deposit. Wherever I passed. And then you have to see right here. I kill this spearman who's just I'm not sure why he's there, just kinda chilling. Whatever. I grab a spear off of him, which I don't use. Because as you see later in this let's play, I will start to use a plus 10 spear. I'm trying to aggro the hollow and the balder knight right here. But they take forever to get over here, plus they never go into the hallway. You have to kill them at the same time, which really sucks, especially for the low level. And I just switch out to my soul spear, which makes pretty decent work of them both. I managed to not die like an idiot right here. But I do manage to do some other stupid stuff like that. Letting him take a drink. And completely missing, because after he dies, I lose the lock. I thought I was locked onto the other guy, but whatever. Run down, get to the undead parish, and all right. Um, I actually managed to kill these guys without dying horribly like last time, which is pretty nice. I still make some tremendous fuck up parries. I don't get killed. Despite a shield bash, if I didn't have my shield up, I probably would have died right there. Using my last Estus Flask and killing 
uh, hollow archer, crossbow man, whatever you want to call him. And I was going to go down to the bonfire, but I apparently don't. I go over to attack this Baronic Knight, but it misses and I hit the pillar. So I back off a little bit. He gets all up in my camera, which kind of is stupid, but whatever. And I start solo arrowing him. Ugh. I actually managed to land a parry on him, and then well, it doesn't work for a while. And I run down the stairs, and I just kind of give up on fighting him, so I rested the bonfire. Mm. Oh, I think I will go over here. Yeah, let's get my resistance, but I don't want. Right there, so I'm only getting 16 dexterity. Or 15, I don't know. One of the two. Well, and we go down and talk to Andre. I just kind of speed up going through all of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Life from Titanite and then I upgrade my Luigi Katana to the plus two for now. So that's all I can afford. Go up the stairs. And something I forgot about, completely forgot about. Um, the non respawnable enemies don't go to home position when you rest at a bonfire. So he's still kind of there. Which is still interesting because I was down there for a while. I was down there for like a minute or two, but it took him that long. And I get totally thrashed while trying to kill him. Well, I did kill him, but I almost get totally thrashed. seems to work out for him. That whole, uh... Oh yeah, and then he drops a steel helm, which is much better than my sorcerer's hat, so I put it on. Just because it looks kind of cool. This is where I start to really say fuck armor. And I start using actual armor instead of just the starter gear, because it's kind of... to cue in a little bit early forgetting about the channeler that you'll see in the next episode. Some stupid stuff happens. So I forget about the channeler. Then I managed to get that 800 souls. And I get the plus 30 in Jikatana. Don't get yourself. There to get the Firekeeper soul. But first, I have to kill those hollows, which, whatever. I'll check out the scaling on mine, and it has B scaling on dexterity, which is really cool. But that's just me. I don't know why the weapon is lose scaling in certain things, even though that'd be completely overpowered. But, like, I have my Magic Uji Katana now, and it has, uh, it has, like, B in. Intelligence and D and uh, Dexterity, which I don't know why it makes it worse than Dexterity based on weapon magic, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. And then I totally fail at that. And after I get this, I'm um, gonna cut the video right here, and I will see you next episode, and goodbye.